Okay, there we are. I'm running late and I made a, I, I wanted to do this. Oh. I'm not turning my phone. Not sure why it's saying rotate. But anyways, I wanted to have the black and the gold on before we started. And because uh, that takes time. Um, but as you can see, I learned the hard way that my, though I had had it level, when I was adding the paint, it um, shifted. So I am working on trying to get it level. And what I will have to do which is what I didn't want to have to do, is I am going to try to move the gold down where it's supposed to be without causing too much of a kerfuffle. I'm thinking what I'll have to do is I'll have to, I'll do this corner first with what is planned. And I'm gonna add a little bit of black on here to hide that gold because I don't really want that gold on yet. There is going to be gold on here but it's not supposed to be yet. Good thing I have extra black. I wasn't sure if I was going to have enough black. Anyways, hello! from Grand Prairie. Okay, I'm thinking. Um, okay. Now, I was also trying to get, and this is how I ended up finding out that, uh, that I must have shifted it, or well, not must have, did. Because I need room right here be able to move. So I'm gonna do this again. Move this back a bit as I can. Moving my little levelers or the items that I'm using or the coasters that I'm using to try and level it. And now I have uh, got it too high, I think. Let's try that and see what happens. I'm trying not to take up too much of your time today and not succeeding. Okay, so yesterday I did a little sample. Uh, this is how it turned out being dried. Hey, Charity! Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put that back. There. Okay, so I am going to be using, again, as I did yesterday, fluorescent orange. This is rose pink. This is a rose, metallic rose pink. And I am going to be using, yesterday I used a, a shift, a color shift, but it, uh, uh, it turned more of a pinky than an orange. So, and so I'm just gonna use the, the orange. Okay, and I am using a black. I need to add some more black to this. Well, that probably is too much. Oh, uh, and 
I'm going to add some, I still need to move this back a bit because I need to be able to, okay, I need to be able to put some paper towel. I'm going to set those aside. Okay, so I am going to put, uh, yesterday I put 10 in. Today I'm going to just put one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, because this is actually is the same black as I had yesterday, but I just added more. And the same with the gold. Because I'm using the black and the gold as my swipes. So. One, two, three, four, five, six. Whoops. I think I had a little. I think that was a little bit of a stream. And not just a. Ah. Okay, I think I'm going to do that corner first, just because of the fact that it all, even though I have uh, set it so that it is um, I think level. Okay, so I'm going to start off, or actually I'm going to pour my fluorescent orange. In the center, and I'm going to actually use a spoon. So we're, we're going to be doing a four-way swipe today. So I think I'm going to go this way first. little bit more orange and I'm hoping I have enough of the orange mixed up okay and then I am going to what is this the metallic pink need to grab a couple more spoons So I'm going to put, and seeing as we're pulling it this way, okay, that there, I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing, okay, I'm going to add, this is just orange. Uh oh. And this is the rose pink, not metallic. I should have actually added a little bit of white to it, but to make it a little, and yeah, no, it's too late to do that now. So, okay, now I gotta move all this stuff in there for a moment. I need a bigger work table. This is my dining room table, by the way. So, okay, so I am going to put, this has got the, I put the silicone oil in this. So I'm, I'm thinking it works as a cell activator because it seemed to work on the little one. Okay, so 
I am going to do that and then is that way enough? No. Okay, so uh, actually I'm gonna have to go this way because it's and then I'm going to pull it down and I'm going to put paper towel here too because I need to wipe off the uh, sheet and I am going to flip it around and I am going to pull again because I was not able to get the whole uh -oh. and I'm gonna have to pull again because I missed there's two spots where okay let's see if I just gently touch and then drag. There we go. Yay! Okay, that's that. There and then I am going to okay my orange I need to put here Okay, that was the fluorescent orange. Okay, which one was this? Okay, this is just the, uh, the pink, the uh, rose pink. This is the just plain old orange. And I'm hoping I have enough to do the entire. Upside down, so the, okay. And then the metallic, I'll put the metallic pink. And then where did I put the black? The black is right here. So the black is the, the one with the Silivet activator in it. And I'm going to pour that right here. Okay, so it goes there. Now I'm gonna put this here, and again, I don't think I have enough. Well, it's not wide enough, so I'm going to have to do two swipes. Okay, and my uh, I 
actually should have probably done it the other way, the way that I did the last one. And I am going to, for this one, Now my, my little box is not big enough. So, um, well, I mean, it is big enough, but barely. <laughs> and with the cost and price of wood right now, plywood and, and that, I don't really have the funds to be able to And I also really, in some ways, do not have space to put a bigger Okay, now I'm going to put that in the garbage. I'm going to set this aside because what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to turn my so that you can see what I'm doing, I'm going to have to turn my little box. That water out of the way. Okay. So now you saw how I pulled this one that way and this one that way, right? Okay, I had pulled it this way and then that way. This one I'm going to pull this way and then down. So I need to get on that corner again, that edge. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Almost lost my swipe. Okay, so again, starting with the orange. It looks like I don't really have very much orange there, but we'll see because I have to, I'm still going to do a tilt. Okay, this is the metallic. I'm trying to see. Oh, why does it keep saying rotate? I don't want to rotate. I'm hoping that it's not interfering with the, uh, the video when it says, when it does that thing saying I need to rotate. Okay, and this is just the plain pink, no, no metallic in it. And how I can tell the difference is because the metallic has a gritty feel to it because it's got glitter in it. Okay, now where did I put the gold? It is okay. So all right, and 
there. And where did I put that? Okay. Now again, just very gently put it on, pull it down, and I wasn't holding it right, so therefore that is why that's why the uh, that's why we I end up with the uh, the um, bare spots. So I'm going to flip it around. Let's hope this time we get and cover that bear spot. There we go. Okay. Now, one more. Put the orange, fluorescent orange. Oh, that was dumb. That was really dumb. Okay. It's too late to fix that. if I can scoop that off or not because that's not what I was trying to do okay well okay that is the fluorescent orange Let's do the uh, just regular rose pink. Okay, and then the orange. That's what happens when you're not really fully paying attention to what you're doing. Okay. That wasn't supposed to happen either. Okay, well, let's take the lid off. And this is going to be a little bit different because the other ones had the spirally. Let's start here so that I can sit and see if I can see better. Hopefully my head's not in your way. Come on. There we go. Okay, I guess I'm going to be getting some more orange because I don't have any orange, didn't have any orange to make more. So there is that. Okay, what else do I have? Ah, I think it's the metallic pink is what's left. Okay, and then I am 
doing the black. This is my last sweep. paper towels because I'm going to need to do two here Now normally I like to have a little bit more room between the edge of my table and uh, what I'm doing, but one of the good things about acrylic is that uh, if I do happen to spill it on the floor, which I have not, um, it will wash off. Okay, so. Okay, so put that in the garbage. Grab another paper towel. feel like putting the air conditioner on because it's warm in here. Okay, I am going to torch. I like the effects. I almost don't want to tilt, but there's too much paint. So I pretty much have to. What do you all think so far? Okay, I'm going to wipe the sides off so that I don't. Hopefully. Okay, so, so let's tilt. Now this is a bigger um, this is a much bigger canvas than I am used to. Like much bigger. Okay, let's pull it back. Keeping in mind that the only colors that I put the uh, um, silica activator or silicone oil into was the black and the gold.
I'm going to set this down because uh, for a minute because I need to actually turn it around without dropping paint onto my floor. Okay, I still have paint flowing quite speedily over here. With my uh, my other one, I don't know if Thomas has come on, but uh, nephew, um, uh, with the because I had put the little one as my uh, story, and I am uh, I'm actually naming it Lava Flow. Um, but my nephew, or one of my nephews, uh, commented saying it looks like Mars, which yeah, I guess it kind of does because Mars is a red planet, is it not? Um, okay. I'm going to run my fingers across the bottom, trying to stop the flow a little bit, because I'm going to, uh, I'm going to torch it again here, but I need to uh, be able to wipe off my fingers without dripping it onto the painting. Now I'm thinking, I don't know if I can lift this up high enough, but I'm thinking because I have two trays underneath that have, um, that are covered with plastic, I'm thinking that I'll get some really nice skin. And what I do with the skins, like a lot of people, what they do is they, they use the skins, which, um, do I have something that I can show you as a skin? Um, not handy, no. Um, a lot of people use the skins, which is the, uh, once the acrylic paint dries, and it dries onto plastic like that, uh, you can peel it off. Um, you can peel it off, uh, and, and, uh, and then what I do, a lot of people, what they do is they use the skins to make jewelry, but what I do is I use the skins to make coasters. Um, that's what I could do. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? There it is. This is a coaster I made. Oh, I keep, when I bounce or when I move. Okay, this is a coaster I made using skins. 
that's got two skins in it, one on top and one on the bottom. So that, and, and I have to sand them, so it needs to be finished. But anyways, yeah, um, so I'm going to, why did I sit down? I need to torch. Let's see what happens. Oh, and, and there, that might be easier to see. I'm thinking that I uh, tilted all the, oh, no, there's, there's little gold cells coming up here. some cells coming up in the center there. And there, there's, there's cells starting to come up um, in different places. I'm thinking though that the reason some cells are not coming up is because there might still be too much paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my skewer I, I hope this rotate stuff doesn't affect. Okay. I'm, I'm hoping that the does not affect the, uh, the video. Because I know there, I don't know. Okay, where do I need to... I don't know. Where did I put that block? Okay, where was it? I'm going to add some of the other colors in too. It's I just want to break up some of this gold um, a little bit.
Oh, I hope I didn't just cover over that your space that you're seeing, Nora. Nora. next to the middle. I'm seeing lots of faces, so... <laughs> now, I don't want to put purple where, or orange, I should say, where there isn't any. Okay, so I hope I didn't mess up your uh, the face that you were seeing now. I'm... Oh, actually. And I normally don't like getting gold or different colors mixed in with the... But this is almost done anyway, so I'll use it as a leftover. It'll be kind of cool with having the gold marble-like swirls. Oops. Maybe that's not orange. Uh, where is my pink? I'm not putting any gold in because there's lots of gold. I'm not, because I have a fair bit left.
almost did it. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do, because with having these kind of blotches of pink and orange, and I'm going to tilt just a little bit. Oh, there we go. I've got paint on my eyebrow. I have a pink eyebrow. I don't need a pink eyebrow. Okay, so I'm going to just tilt a little bit. Tilt back the other way. Is it moving? It is. Okay, let's let's tilt it this way. A minute. I have to get up so that I can see what it's doing. I'll try not to uh, drop it. Probably, sorry, Maura, probably uh, disfigured your uh, there's, there's there's too much paint on it still. So because if, if there's too much paint on it, when it dries, it'll crack. Mind you, I generally resin them. So even if they crack, there, the resin, it covers them over. And it gives the uh, painting kind of an interesting look. So, I mean, I, it doesn't really, because of the fact that I put resin on mine, cracking doesn't really bother me too much. I'm thinking I should have left it. I'm gonna let it tilt this way again a little bit more. Oops, I hit my light.
with my big head. I think I lost my hook. I did. I lost one of my hooks. Not sure how, but I did. So I'm going to have to try and see if I can get it back in. Don't know how I lost it. I had it screwed into the wood. I'm going to tilt it again a little bit this way. This way because whoa 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 my fingers slipped there's paint all over my fingers now on my arm I'm sure I'm liking this. I shouldn't have tilted it. Especially because now it's not even running. I don't think. Nope. Doesn't seem to be. Oh yeah, that's a little bit here. why I was kind of nervous about doing such a, well, for me, large canvas is because it's harder to hold. It's harder to move. It's harder to control. What do y'all think? Should I uh, should I add some orange? 
and pink. That was dumb. I did what I said I wasn't going to do. I might regret this. Probably will. Maybe not. Same thing with the uh, with the orange. I don't like it, I can just tilt again, right? <laughs>
starting to stick to my, the paper towel is starting to stick to my gloves. Okay, let's. See what happens. With a little bit of a tilt. It's raining again. Okay, I'm just going to let this tilt for a minute and then I'm going to uh, um, torch again and then I think that'll be it. Because the proof will be in the pudding when it dries as to... How it's gonna look because even when uh, with still being wet as it's drying even though I wipe off the edges it, the paint still moves and shifts a little bit without dropping it. <clears throat> I don't know. In some ways, I feel like I want to swipe again. But I'm going to let it just dry or let it sit for a little bit and see how I feel once because I've learned a few times now that I didn't like something and I swiped it or I, I scraped it immediately and then afterwards seeing the pictures like well why did I do that it actually looked really nice tilt a little bit this way and then that's it I'm done I'll pull everybody down and well I'll torch it first and see if I can pull up some of the uh, some more of the cells Okay, so it doesn't seem to be flowing anymore. Well, it, it is, but it's on the side. It's not the actual painting that is flowing now. It's the excess paint that's on the sides. So I think I'm going to put it down, swipe the sides. Some paper towel. Okay, there's no, it's 
not it's not dripping off that end anymore but it is still off of this end but that's because we were just tilting that end. to drag my fingers over the, uh, the top side of the painting. Okay, I don't want to get my fingers, my gloves wiped off as much as I can with the excess paint. These, these gloves actually I think are toast because they're, where are they? <laughs> I think they're done. I think I've used this these this pair of gloves for three paints. Okay, so I'm going to torch and let's see what happens. And generally, I've seen a few videos where they've said torch, leave it about 10 minutes, go back and torch again. And I know that's usually with the, uh, when doing resin, but the, I've also heard a few for the uh, paintings that have said. There's some coming up here. I don't want to cook my paint. Gloves off, pull this down. Hopefully, not drop my phone. 